Hello, this is Artie Mays and today I've come to show you um, a technique I use to create some texture on my pages, you know, with stamping instead of stenciling. And I've created this just out of some funky foam with all you do is heat it and you press it into a texture plate similar to this one, like that, the old Friskus plates that most probably a lot of us have got. Um, I actually can't find the original one of this, so because I was going to do one for Tina, my friend, and I actually can't find it. I've been looking for it for about two hours, and I have no idea where I've put it, so yeah, I'll come across it one day. So what I'm going to do today, oh yeah, and that's that's this sort of effect. You know, it's different coloured ink pads here. That's um, that one there that I had, and that's some tea stain one, which is the Tim Holtz one now. So if you keep stamping it, then you'll get it faint, a lot fainter, you know, but I just wanted to show you the texture. And I random, when I stamp this sort of thing on my pages, I do very random stamping. So to make it look cohesive. <coughs> Excuse me. So what all I've done is cut a little bit of funky foam. And to get the texture plate ready, because you heat the funky foam up and then you, you press it into the texture here. I'll just move that out of the way in a minute. So I'll do that on camera just to show you the little technique I do. To get it nice and warm. Make sure you don't burn your fingers. It takes a minute, I think, to warm it up. It usually starts to um, curl a little bit, so you know it's quite warm then. You can do it with rubber, rubber stamps as well. You can heat it up and stamp the rubber stamps in, and it gives a, a you know, the reverse look, an inverted look. It's quite warm enough yet. It'll be quite quick, so and then so it even gives you the indent of your thumbprint fingerprints. Look, <laughs> don't go right to the edge, and again, it picks up randomly. So, so when you stamp, it's even that should be fine, but you can't really see it. But when I ink it. I just yeah, picked up a little bit too much ink there, but actually what I'll do, I'll do it the other way because it's raised and then I can, you can see it a bit better. And because I didn't go around the edge, it sort of fades off and I tend to you know, and that's your effect it gives. So again, very nice for your pages. There you go. A little bit there. So I think that's pretty cool. So any of your texture plates. I haven't tried embossing folders yet, which I've yet to do. There's another one here. There's different, different textures. And I mean, we all know, funky foam dead cheap in the kids department the art you know uh, the kids art department rather so that's it and then go on to a bit darker okay see it picks up beautifully and then this is going to be quite dark though but it'd be nice to show you and you can over stamp that to... there you go and there it is it. And you can do that with so many things, you really can. There's other, um, there's those foam things. That I've got one here. It's like those. And you heat, you heat those up, and you can put your rubber stamps in, or any impression, any jewelry, or anything. And you just literally, you know, I've done one there, but I've actually, um, and you can just keep heating it up. 
you know when you when you finish with the design you heat it up and it disappears and you do another one but if you get a really good one you tend to keep them and these are again very cheap but i haven't done any recently right so well that's it for today so you can imagine what that'll look look like so you get all your texture plates out and you'll be looking around for things to be you know because you can literally use anything so like i say i, have, I might in a minute actually try the embossing folder here to see if that works i'm sure it should actually should we do it now i think we will let's cut a bit of foam out what it looks like, can't I? So I'm just looking to make sure it's uh, the raised side. Let's just see, I think. So it's quite well actually. So I use the darker one only so that it, you can see it better. Oh, actually, I need to use a razor one. Sorry. This is just a very quick tutorial, so I wasn't really prepared for that today at all. Right. That looks good. And then perhaps do a little bit of darker through. Right. So now you can see it. Let's have a little trick. Stamp that. That's a shiny isn't it? Sorry, a shiny card on the outside, so it won't, won't be very good. So yep. Yeah. That's it, now it's dried a bit, it's okay. There we go. Not quite as good as the um, te um, texture plates but passable there we go and again you get your random stamp in without having to do it randomly because that is there you go I expect this way of putting it through your embossing um, that might work better actually I'm just thinking about your die cutting machines putting them through and see how that works that might be interesting to try Okay, well, that's it for today anyway, and speak to you again shortly. Bye-bye. Okay, I've actually run this one through my um, Big Shot. Um, and what I've done, I used, uh, put it on there, with the two, two plates, one at the bottom, then the embossing folder, and then one on the top, and I also use that as a shim because I just needed a bit more pressure. But again, please be careful because some of your embossing folders are thicker than others. So you might not need those, but I needed it with this one. So let's have a look, see what happened. Let's see, I haven't looked. So, um, yes, I'll tell you what though. I'm going to do it again because... Because I've run in through twice, it's, I've got a double impression and that will make you feel sick. So what I'll do, I'll go and do it again and only now I know how many shims to use, uh, it should be fine. So I'll be back in a minute. I've run this one through only once. So please only run it through one, once, not twice, because it must move inside and then it gives you a double impression. So I'm going to say I haven't checked it. So but look at that. It's really good. All right, let's ink it up and you'll see it even better. And stamp. Let's 
so there's very light this one I think this is running out a bit so there we go. let's do a bit more and I quite like it all random so there we go and that's really good love that one I shall use that one in my next journal so here we go and they last for ages anyway and then you know like I say it's very cheap so once it starts getting too flat just do another one okay thank you very much for watching then bye